that, but it's a race he will try to forget quickly. All you can do is put it behind you, get back out to the practice track, and start preparing for the next race. And welcome to our video review for... Hold on, I need to make sure I get this right. It is the Monster Energy Supercross... So Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, which is like the longest game title in history. It it does sound a bit. Who's Ryan Dungy? I have no idea. Uh, so you didn't you didn't create him and give him the name? No. So basically, I mean, this is how the game starts as well. So you you press start, and here you are. You're just thrown straight into a race, uh, and off you go. You missed the start a little bit. Well, I'll get to that. You missed the corner a little bit. I missed most of the corners. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, well, yeah. that guy helped. So this this game's been made by a company called My, I think in Milestone Italy, and they're responsible for like Are you supposed to uh, the other part of the track. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> oh, well, that was very trials. Yes. Uh, just, just fell off. Yeah. So the guys that made this, they're responsible for like every MotoGP game ever made. Uh, I I played one a couple of years ago. It got released on the Vita, so it must have been MotoGP 14, I think. Uh, and I think I played it for about half an hour and went, yeah, I really suck at this, so I turned it off. Turns out, I also suck at this one. But so the game is basically you go through a career of being your bloke. You customize a character. We'll see a little bit of that in the video later on. You customize a character and go through a career. Chose Ryan Dungy. No, this uh, Ryan Dungy, Dungy, Dungarees, whatever his name is. Uh, he's chosen for you. This is about this as is close. He's like world champion motocross person, and you've just made him. And I've terrible. killed him. <laughs> so well, you've literally <laughs> murdered him somehow. Well, well, this is about as close to a tutorial as you get. Literally, you you click into the game and it goes have a race as this dude and you go okay I have no idea what I'm doing are these barrier things made of lead or something I'll get to it's those like later as well you're hitting them but it's almost like they're not moving at all so <laughs> focus damn it I have to do a review for this god damn right <clears throat> so I think this is the first uh, oh this is me playing around with the rewind which I didn't know was a thing until that happened uh, Maybe you find the whole race. Yeah. So this, I believe, is the first motocross game that's Monster Energy branded, and I'll, I have to admit, you know, the branding is everywhere, and is probably the prettiest part of this game. Well, they are very careful with their with their you know, yeah. IP. I guess. But it's everybody. It's not just Monster. It's every every sponsor, every uh, manufacturer. While the screen starts to look like complete balls, you, you can tell every single sponsor as you ride past them. Yeah, there's Oakley there, I saw. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so this game, you'll, you'll start a career and you'll create your character and you will basically go into like 30 different tracks that all look like this. That's how motocross works. Uh, yeah, but uh, this is my one of my issues. So I... I should caveat this entire review by saying I know very little about motocross, I cannot ride a bike, and I have no intention of ever riding a bike in motocross. Pretty sure you just cheated. Well, The game literally just respawned you into a place where you weren't, or supposed to be, and then just let you go. Yep. The, res the respawn, there is lots that we have to get to in this review, mate. This is, it's consistently inconsistent is the best way I can <laughs> I can describe this game uh, but you see where we are at the moment so in this video we're kind of watching this and you can't actually tell where I am or uh, what's last. going on well apart from the fact that I'm last but currently I'm just on a dirt track the, the, you know there are no defining features to any part of this track except the big jump at the end you're in some kind of stadium yeah the stadiums are the best part of it. Not, because, not the Monster Energy branding. No, not the Monster Energy branding. The stadiums are awesome because uh, I think the first race I did was in Valhalla. 
Okay. Which for for the uninitiated, that is the U.S. Bank Stadium. Yep. In Minneapolis, Minnesota. Home of this year's Super Bowl. How yeah. did you fall off then? I don't know. I don't this is my point. I'm not fucking. I mean, I'm pretty shit at this game, but there are some points where I go, "Well, how did that happen?" I just apparently my avatar just gave up and decided to commit suicide. I'm so bad. Like the back of the bike clipped you, just enough to kill <laughs> as you went uh, as you went over. It assumed you were doing a backflip wrong and just thought, you know what, we'll we'll kill this guy. At one point, I did try to do a backflip and just crashed because because it was about that point I realised, no, Brooker, you're not playing trials. Uh, you are in fact playing a racing game on the mud. Woohoo! Yeah. Uh, just, just like the old days. Yeah. So where to begin? Where to begin? A tutorial. A tutorial would have been really good. You know, and I, I, I tend to not be one of those guys that goes, I really need a hand-holding session for the beginning of a game. But I never, ever get angry at the fact that I'm given a hand-holding session because sometimes there are people that have never played these games before. And I would have really liked a tutorial session for this to explain the fact that I have to control my own weight, uh, to explain front and rear braking, to explain the fact that there is no automatic gear shift, you have to do it yourself. It took me five races to realise that. And that I just, you, how, I'm so confused. How have you not realised you're changing your own gears? I'm not changing my own gears. The game is doing it for me on a semi-automatic basis. Okay. I was going to say, I, to be fair, I guess that makes sense, considering I've seen you redline this bike every fucking three seconds. Well, this is what I mean. I was like, well, is this just like what motocross bikes are like? You know, and like I say, I do, I am very aware that I'm playing this and reviewing this game and I suck at it. But at the same time, I, I needed some help, man. I needed a tutorial to say, this is how you change gears. You know, I've never begged for license, you know, Gran, uh, Gran Turismo style licensing as much as I did playing the beginning of this. And then I begged to be killed when these creator characters started looking at me. Because, dude, these guys look terrifying. There's wow. Some, there's some scary character models. <laughs> Just pick the ginger bloke and be done with it. No. I can't, I can't remember who I picked. I think I picked the bald bloke. Just be thankful I didn't uh, do video footage of me changing all the numbers. Because it doesn't let you type in your number as like, mine was 411. Because it is for everything. So I had to sit there. Scrolled through had to scroll through 410 characters. Yep, yeah, and it could was... You not go, I was going to say, could you not go backwards? And I thought, you know what? It's exactly the same number. Actually, no, it was yeah. six, it's 600 going the other way, five, 400 going back. Yeah. So, but it was so slow. At least it let you pick a number in the fucking 400s. Mm -hmm. and, didn't, and didn't go like, yeah, you can have up to like 302. Yeah. So here we, you know, we're looking now at the, the career mode. And this is it. This is what career mode looks like. There's no... It doesn't show you your progression. Oh, here you go. The US Bank Stadium. Uh, doesn't show you your progression. Just one minute, you're in a race, and two hours later, you finish that championship. Oh. Well, I never finish a championship ever. But ever. I did finish the career, which is fucking hilarious, because I don't... I didn't win... A, no, I won one race, I think, in my entire career. I did, towards the end I started doing alright and ending like second, third and fourth but for the I'm most part it. at any point in this I can't see you coming anywhere better than last uh, there will be some I think I can't remember what footage I used for this I just grabbed a load of different what the, uh, but this is the problem I say I grabbed a load of different races they're all going to look the same that guy's going backwards yes he is so you're going to beat him because he doesn't no I'm not because I can't move now oh Oh, oh, Brooker. <laughs> Mate, I mean, I am aware that I shouldn't be allowed to review anything that requires a race, like ever, but I do suck at this. I'll be honest, I'm looking at this and I don't think I'd be very good at it either, and I'm usually pretty good at racing games, but controlling your own weight, front and back braking, how do you even just you know, differentiate between front and back brake. Well, here's the problem. Surely this... one of the buttons that you would consider to be a brake would be the accelerator. Well, this you know, is cause... this is my you're... problem. So the accelerator, so I was playing on PS4. The... I also want to mention this before. Oh, yeah, it's done that as well. 
Like I was in the pack. I was not. I was not going the wrong way. Twice it done that to me. I think I recorded it again as well, or maybe I didn't. I don't know why that's there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I was playing this on PS4 Pro, but it looks like I've been playing it on maybe a launch day PS3. I think it's about as good as that gets. But can you see the difference in stadiums? Get killed. Literally standing in front of like thirty people on motorcycles. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't tell. No, it looks exactly the same. Are we still in the US Bank Stadium? No, we're not it's in the US Bank Stadium anymore. It's... No, this is a new stadium. With a roof. With a roof. I oh, think... wait, no, is this... I'm assuming, if I remember rightly, the next track on your thing was Atlanta, Georgia. It is. It's the Super... Don't know. Superdome's New Orleans. But yeah, it's the Falcons uh, Stadium. I don't know, it's probably whatever the best export is in in, in Georgia. Yeah. Racism. Oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Orange racists. Yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah, there you go. It's the Trump though. Yeah. So I'm going to stick my neck out a bit and I'm going to talk a little bit about the gameplay because it's... I I know it looks like I, don't, I, I have no business talking about it because I can't play this thing for shit. But, yeah. Um... Uh, this is literally it. It's just hold down accelerator and drive. You what is the accelerator button? R2 on the PlayStation, so right trigger. Okay, so what are the brakes then? So brake. Front and rear. There are front and rear. See, see but, 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 what the fuck? I, I was going. You, you slightly missed the corner somehow. But I didn't. I watched that bit of video twice to make sure I didn't as well. <laughs> so I just gave up and went to go edit some tracks. Uh, so yeah, so the the rear brake is L2 or left trigger. The front brake, I think, is X. Of course, because what you need in life is a brake that is both on or off, and oh, not yeah. actually. But but also, while you're braking with X, circle and square are your gear shifters. So you shift up and down with circle and square. This is the most twisted bit of thumb movement I've ever. I've, I couldn't, mate. I couldn't do it. I just. I feel like my hands are going to cramp just by thinking about this. It you was. You know what would make a great control system? Front brake being right trigger, rear brake being left trigger, an accelerator being the thumbstick. Yeah. The right thumbstick forward uh, up being accelerate. Yeah. Because then it's non-analog, and then you can use the the right and left shoulder buttons for your up and down shift. <laughs> yep. I so suppose that just leaves a problem with controlling your weight. But I suppose you yeah. only have to worry about that when you're in the air, and that's with thumb, left thumbstick. Yeah. Weight control. Left, right, up, forwards and backwards. Problem solved. I've solved your controller problem. But could you get hold of the people that made this game and solve it for them, please? Because holy shit, dude. It was unbearable for a, ma for a massive portion of it. So after you've done your career mode... Now, career, I think I finished it. And by finish, I mean finished the last race, not won anything. Uh... I think it took me about seven hours to finish. I don't know, but maybe it'll take longer if you do other th I just kept clicking things and playing, saying, yes, please race. Uh, I'll be perfectly honest and say by hour two, I was bored. Uh, I was so, so very bored <laughs> uh, of looking at the same dirt tracks over and over and over again. It was honestly getting on my nerves. Uh, so then I went to try this track editor and mate, this is something else. So a couple of these, uh, a couple of the tracks that I raced on, you could like, you'd like, go under a bridge. So you go over a bridge and then go around and then go under the bridge again. And it was, it looked really kind of cool. So I tried to put a bridge in and oh. lit, and I swear to you, I spent five minutes dicking around trying to make a track go under bridge. I, I couldn't make it work for love no money. I, I'd change angles. I, it was just a complete farce. I, all I wanted to do was a bit of track got under bridge so I could go around in a circle and then end up back at the start. I, but no, nothing. It, the tutorials and there were the the bit at the beginning of this little section. They were it was like a tutorial video on how to do, how to do edit a track. It was less useful Are they than. Called whoops. Yes, they're called whoops. Right. They got tiny little hills. Yeah. But you also have jumps. 
which are big hills. I, 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 I don't know. I, I like how you put two small 45 degree bends in when you could have put in a small U bend. Yeah, I was just kind of clicking things. Yeah, I, did, I just wanted to have a play and see what I could do, and it turns out I can't do much. You can't do anything fun. Why even bother having a bridge if you can't go under it? That doesn't make that. That means it's no longer a bridge. It well, now, now it's just a jump. It's just now a it's just a big whoops. It's a big whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to t- put two bridges together. Maybe. I, <laughs> bridges <laughs> over bridges. Just, just add more bridges. Yeah. Jeff Bridges. This, this was. I have to admit, this was far more frustrating than it had any right to be. It, it was beyond annoying, and I kept pressing the wrong button and starting up the track tester. <laughs> well, you had to wait for a loading screen to, to, to race around a track that doesn't have an ending. Uh, this, this loading screen is on two, two and a half speed. So <laughs> it, it took ages. Mate, the loading screens take forever, and they're so annoying. Uh, downloaded oh, direct to my oh, PlayStation, oh. downloaded direct to my Pro. That should have been a nice quick loading screen, but no. Uh, whoops whoops Jump. no that was the bridge that's uh, the bridge that wasn't a bridge they were different. that's why it's not a bridge no you can't fit anything in there but hey, I look, you did it woo you finished the track <laughs> <laughs> now all you have to do it's is the win. only race I won <laughs> uh, so let's 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 let this oh mate let's talk about physics the physics on this game. The, so you mentioned it earlier, the uh, the lead things that seem to shape the track that go around. Mate, I don't know how these people coded this game. I don't know how they got to this point. But you can hit one of those at two miles an hour and carry on driving, no problem. You can hit one at 100 miles an hour and keep on driving, no problem. Or... One of your competitors can knock one, it be in the middle of the track, you hit it and die. There are times where you can hit one of these things on the side and the thing just will not move and you go flying off of your bike. And you can hit the exact same one next time around the track and it will move. That makes sense. I I don't know, I genuinely don't know how they've managed it. And I I do, I can understand, this is a bit like, uh, playing Forza, let's say. You and I have spoken a hundred times about this. I don't play Forza because it's a sim. And I get bored playing sims. But the thing is, when I play Forza or even Gran Turismo or any of these games, I can pick it up and I can race. And if I can't, you know, there's tutorials, there's licenses, there's things to teach me what I'm doing. And I can have fun if I really feel like, you know, if I really want to get into it. This feels like it's been made for the nine people that watch the Monster Energy AMA Supercross FIM World Championship. It's FIA as far as I'm aware. It says FIM on the box. Huh. All right, then. It was my... Uh, maybe... Do you know what it is? It's the track's too wide. But I can't make skinnier track. Surely you can make a thinner track. I couldn't figure out how to. <laughs> how would is there not yeah just put the bridge next to the other bridge that'll do it well it's just, <laughs> at, at a certain point I just give up and go that bollocks it's just not worth my time or blood pressure and I think I end up just going around the other way and connecting it and driving and saying yeah done bollocks uh, I did just, have, just shout just go fuck you I, I pretty much I because I sat in I sat in my living room uh, I, I've got like a a little footstool thing that came with the sofa. And basically, I kind of sit cross-legged on that directly in front of my telly. Uh, because I can, you know, if my eyes are hurting, I can get closer or further away or whatever. So I sat legit and I get kind of scrunched up over this thing. And I just said, I went, bollocks. I'm not fucking doing this anymore. Just, now just now put, I'm just getting angry. <laughs> just put a 10-foot jump in and then, and then a 10-foot jump on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
what what else was there to talk about? Oh yeah, so well let let, let me bring up my notes. Let me bring up my notes because I, I did write some things down as we were going. Oh, these guys, uh, the, what I found really frustrating actually is when you start looking into these guys, like we said earlier, they made uh, MotoGP and MGXP and Ride. They've been doing this since the late 90s. And I, I, I get the feeling, <laughs> I, I honestly believe that they think now that the only people that still pick up these games are the people that were playing them in the mid 90s. People that have. It, I mean, I'd, let, let's let's uh, let's think of an example. If I picked up FIFA tomorrow, yep, would it teach me how to play? No, actually, it wouldn't. Really? No. They've got a trainer, in-game trainer. Yeah. But it wouldn't teach you how to play. Because it if you just... pick up Madden, it teaches you all the basics. You know, you boot up career mode, it teaches you the basics, it teaches you how to play first half an hour. You know, if you know how to play Madden, you'll be done with it in 10 minutes, and it's a free trophy. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there is a trainer-ish thing. There's a, an in-game trainer so that it will tell you, just like give you little bits of advice. So it's yeah. like... And you press the thumbstick down, it'll like say this is how you pass, this is how you do sp- different types of passes, shooting yeah. and all that, depending on the environment you're in. And there's uh, an arena essentially where it basically just gives you a load of basic commands and instructions on how to do things. Yeah. But there's no specific tutorial. But I don't get any of that here. There's no, there's no. Ari- there's, you I have can to do- learn the buttons, like by just, but just by doing. Just by pressing things and seeing by what happened. Until it worked. But literally, the only reason I ended up winning races towards the end of my career, or getting towards winning races towards the end of my career, was just practice. And I, f- I figured out where I should be braking and shit. That makes sense. Are you back at the... And Minneapolis I... US Bank Stadium? No, no, this is something else. I think this is possibly... The ones I recorded at one point, I ended up in the Indiana Colts, Indianapolis Colts uh, Stadium. This kind of looks like... Um, uh, Dallas, maybe? Judging by the big window at the end. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. No, this is Lucas Oil Stadium. This is Colts. Oh, yeah. Uh, but th- this is kind of my point, though. I'm, I Genuinely, I was more excited about being in these stadiums than I was actually riding these bikes. This should be a thrilling, you know, adrenaline pumping, crash into foam barriers, good time. And it wasn't. I, I, I just don't, I don't. It seems really rigid. It seems like it's only been made for the people that have played these games before. If you're a newbie, just not a chance. Fuck off. It literally tells you that. Wow. You know, no. If you make even the slightest mistake, and I'm, you know, I'm not talking about me crashing into walls and things. I'm talking about a slight slip into a wall. I'm back at, you know, 22, and it's impossible to get up front. And this is with, this is after I found this, the way to set AI to easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how you're getting points. I only just noticed at the top. Uh, that was a perfect jump, apparently. That apparently. one where you landed on a hill. Yep. It all, all goes towards your prestige level. You get prestige. And you are leveled. I think at this point I'm probably level six or seven. I might say somewhere on that screen. Uh, not that I can see. No. Uh, one of my favourite bits I discovered was I. One of the races I ended up in, or a few of the races actually. It has dynamic weather. You're in a stadium with a roof. Yeah. So in, when you're in <laughs> when you're in an open air stadium, you can be playing in the rain. Does it make a difference? No. Got it. The mud you looks wet. I was going to say, you, you're still on mud. But the thing is, at this point, all it does, if it's raining, you get a couple of brown raindrops on the camera. And that's it. The actual, the handling of the bike doesn't change. The uh, the floor just looks wet and muddy instead of muddy. And that's it. It doesn't even, uh, like the mud doesn't react to you skidding on it. So there's no, you know, there's no mud spray off your bike. There's nothing. 
It's just shiny. But look, you did it, but perfect, yeah. I know. But somehow I'm still in last place. I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure the uh, the mud is already wet. Otherwise, it wouldn't be mud. It would just be like, well. Floor. Well, yeah, but okay. So it's, here it's like just it's dirt track mud. But when it's actually rained on, it looks like it's been rained on. It goes all boggy and shiny and puddly and. But it doesn't actually make a difference at all to your riding. Got it. Have you ever played one of these like MotoGP type games before? Uh, I think the last time I played an actual. Um, motocross type game. It was um, MX versus ATV. I think maybe Reflex. Oh yeah, MX versus ATV was fun. Yeah, but it was but arcade, it, and it felt arcade. Yeah, it it didn't. It was nothing massive to write home about. It was a game that was designed to be fun. Yeah. I think I actually played it on like the DS. I mean, I I would be honest. I I don't think I'm gonna I don't be. Even think I paid for it. I think it was just like someone literally just gave it to me. Fair enough. I uh, I don't think we're going to be alone rating this game very, very, very low. But not at all. No, I, probably not. I can't... I, I mean, I don't know any motocross superbike fans, but I can't... I, I can't recommend this to anybody. It's one of the worst video game experiences I've had with a racer for quite some time. Is it the best MX game you've played? It's the best MX game I've played this week. <laughs> <laughs>